Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about a very commonly faced issue when you convert your images into PDF. Okay, so many times you will be getting this kind of error. So if you see this, we are getting one alpha channel error, which is saying refuse to work on images with alpha channel, right? So today we'll talk about how you can fix this particular error and why exactly we are getting this. Okay, so before we start this video, I hope you have gone through my previous video where we have already discussed like how we can convert images into PDF. So whether you talk about single image, multiple images, how do we convert into PDF, we have seen. So this is the continuous of the same video. And now I'm going to show you what exactly is causing the issue. So for that, let me take one Google image. So you can see right now I open google.com and let's say I want to capture this image. And from this image, I just want to generate a PDF file. So I will right click on this image and I will say save as, let's say on the desktop, I just want to save this as Google image. So I will say Google. So on desktop, you can see now I have this image, right? Now, if you just try to see other images, you can see this Facebook image and Instagram images. If you just double click and open it, you will see they are in the you know white background. But if you see, this is transparent, right? Now let me use this because in the last videos we have seen this, this is working fine, but this is little transparent. Now the moment you start working on this, you will be getting now the same alpha channel error. So let's do one thing. Uh, this is the same code. In case if you haven't seen that video, I will give you a small description about this code. We are using a open function where we are providing path where we want to generate the PDF. So right now we are just giving the PDF file name. So it is going to generate in the same package. So let's say for this example, I will make it my report 4.pdf. We are open in a write binary mode. Then we are using img to pdf and we are using one convert function where we will give the image path and it is going to convert that we are going to write in this pdf and finally we are closing it. So let me do one thing. Uh, this image is already I have in this directory, but still I will just Control V uh, and I already have so it says do you want to override so yes let's override so I have this google.png in this particular directory or package you can say so let me just give the name I will say uh, google.png okay so google.png is uh, available here in case if you don't want to give this one you can just right click here and you can just copy as path and in your program you can just come here and you can give you can paste the path okay you can just give one forward slash or two backward slash so i'm just giving two backward slash now let's run this program and let's see is it getting converting into pdf or not so you can see we got the same error which is saying as alpha channel error which is refusing to work on images with alpha channel okay so let's do one thing let's scroll up and let's see what exactly we are getting the warning so first of all it says this image contains some transparency which we cannot retain in pdf so this library that we have downloaded image to pdf will not perform a lucy operation now very important point they already mentioned here that you can remove the alpha channel using the image magic and this is the command that we have to use okay so let's follow the instruction which they have recommended so first of all we need to download image magic in case if you don't have you need to download and you need to install in case you already have you can go ahead and continue with this command so I will show you, let's, I am assuming that you don't have image magic in your system. So just copy this image magic and just open any browser and search for image magic. So you will get the first link. So it's an open source of cross platform software, which actually will help you to create, convert, modify and edit the images. So right now what we are doing, we need to actually, if you see, we have to convert our input to a, a different output we just need to keep the background white and we need to remove the alpha channel right so you can first of all open this 
and in case if you are a little curious just read out some documentation about it first of all we need to download this and then we will be using the commands so the moment you come to download section you can see we have unix section then we have mac session we have ios and then finally we have windows so right now i'm using windows 10 and you can see they have the different uh, you know versions so i will click on the first uh, link which is image magic 7.0 ending with x64 static.exe so it is going to download just like a normal exe you need to double click and install no other installation required just double click and it will install in your system now i will show you where exactly you will be getting this so once you install you need to go to c drive and you will get image magic in program file 86 so just search for image magic okay so let's do one thing let me check with program files here do we have image magic yet so for me I have this in program files but you check first first of all you just check in ima uh, program files x86 if you don't find then just come here and check in program files I have image magic here in program files and now we can execute the command okay so this is the main application that we need to use in order to convert so now if you go back to PyCharm you will see we have to use one convert uh, command and we need to provide our input image and finally it will provide me the output so let's do one thing first of all I will come here and let me just open a command prompt so this is my command prompt right now and what I will do I will just use this command so first of all I will say convert or maybe I can just check out uh, that where we can actually use this okay so right now we are under user so let me switch to desktop so right now we are under desktop okay now I will use this command convert yes convert command then we need to give input image so in our case the image is this one right so just I will drag and drop this image here and let's give a space because we need to provide a space here so after convert we have this image and now simply copy paste this so we are saying background should be white and we need to remove the alpha channel and output.png file so just copy and I'm going to paste it right now so you can see the command and the output.png I can rename it to google new google new.png so now it is going to convert our image okay into a new image and the new image we are giving image google new.png so just hit enter and it says invalid parameter okay so it should not give invalid parameter because it is what they are recommending just a second so let's do one thing uh, right now we are using the exact command so if I go back here to this application we need to use this application as suffix so let's do one thing let's copy the name of this application and before converting I will just add it and now I will hit enter so I'm just using magic space and the same command now hit enter and it seems it worked so let's go here and you can see this was our image before converting and after converting this is our image so this is what exactly image magic has done it has converted our image into white background and removes the alpha channels now i can use this particular image to convert our pdf files so now instead of using google i can say google new okay and instead of keeping this pdf in the home directory what i will do i will say that just keep this pdf under desktop 
and let's say I want to say my report dot PDF. So we are taking the new image and we are going to create PDF in the desktop itself. And let's see now whether it is working fine or not. And you can see we got this success message, which is nothing but print converted PDF converted. Sorry. And now if you see, we got this report. Now just open this and open in a Google Chrome. And here we go. So I hope you got the exact issue. What was the issue that image had the transparency. So we used this tool and finally it worked. So you can use this command again. This is the command that we are getting directly from warning. When you run your program, you just need to add magic and you can see we have magic K here. Okay. Just keep this point in mind, give the input image and here is the output and rest everything you have seen how it works, right? So I will put this command in the one of my blog. So I will give that blog link in the description. So in case if you want to do, just do the copy paste, please go ahead and do that. I will uh, try to keep that video and uh, complete code in my blog. Okay. I hope this session was useful. If yes, then please give me a like in case you are new to this channel, then make sure you subscribe this channel, share with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.